Hey, the folks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm going blessed and highly favored and definitely, definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time popping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the support. Being able to know that I'm being placed in your life and you're being placed in mine is to go along the journey with me to know that I'm not alone the things that I go through you know you can resonate with is truly a blessing to me and you know I'm gonna keep going you know as long as I keep learning I'm gonna keep showing so um I hope you're able to resonate with the content of the video and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe um and hit that notification bell when you know i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how you impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you are comfortable enough i mean if you feel like the vibes information uh is good and you would love to share with a loved one family or friend please go ahead and do so um even if all empath they're going through trying times and they need spiritual guidance or confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it's so greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video um and the meditation you hear in the background is called root chakra healing meditation music open your root chakra and let go of worries and anxieties and i will post that link in the description box below and my last video for today i think this is my like my seventh one um is uh twin flame 101 remember uh when hey is remember it is okay to love people from a distance it truly is you know a lot of times we have gone through things and it's like you know not all relationships no matter if it's friendships partnerships or you know if they're meant to last it'll happen that way you know a lot of times people come into our lives to teach us for them to learn off of us for them to vice versa them learning off of you know you or whatever um and some of them are supposed to hurt you so you can learn all the lessons that you know that relationship was supposed to do you know right now with the retrograde going on and everything being recycled and people you know are heading towards their next chapter of their lives a lot of things are being tested a lot of people are coming back to the sur surface there's a lot of people that might have been coming from your path pat i mean your past going to your current path you know just to basically you know some of them are looking for closures basically are you gonna allow this person to come back in your life if you know that there was things that were you know not benefiting you on the you know on the good vibes and you know that that situation drains you and stuff like that they want to be able to see have you learned enough you know are you going to be that person that you 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 learn that lesson you're bold enough to walk away you know you don't have to be nasty you don't have to do you know anything that wasn't good you can ins you can at least say okay the situation in this relationship taught me so many things you can still place some people in your heart but not allow a lot of them weren't supposed to be still in your life like that some people you can let go because it could have been really putting you in a place of you know dark despair you know certain situations that be placed in your life you know it's just with me i think i've evolved in so many different ways because there's people that you know could have has really put damage in my life you know it was like recently what was it a few months ago that i really went start raving like cussing somebody out like how the hell no you know what you did <laughs> you know you are not coming back in my life and i went da -da 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 -da, you know just went off but it was just like, you know what, I allowed that, that person to take me there. You know, I allowed that to do that. As soon as I said that, all that light started beaming in my face. You know, that was crazy. It's like, y'all got to forgive me on my energy right now. When I prayed and asked God for all that love and energy to be able to place my videos and project out to y'all, that was some powerful stuff. <laughs> so it's like if you see the lights flashing or it gets really bright and then it turns really low, you know, it's uh, so you can tell if it's my phone. I'll see I don't let it back up. And, you know, it's not it's not the screen it's just energy that's coming from me and it's just really crazy i didn't <laughs> it's, it's just it comes and goes every now and then people witness the you know the flashing lights um 
And it's just like so many things we have learned from those mistakes of those relationships, the connection of who, who crosses our path. You know, a lot of times people are being placed in our life to help elevate us to the next chapter or that person we have to bless with our knowledge to have them go with their next chapter. And a lot of times it can be heartfelt, you know, where you can still know somebody, but you're gone along your way and they're gone on theirs, you know, especially if they're like childhood friends. You know, there's some people that, you know, I still stay in communication with that I've known, you know, since I was in my high school or even junior high years. There's some people that are trying to reconnect with me, but I, I've seen what that relationship did to me and it wasn't based off on growth it was just you know like a succubus <laughs> you know you're just sucking all the energy from me or there's a lot of things that has came to the surface about people that know me for years and they're trying to be nosy about certain things you know especially you know I can be on YouTube I mean not YouTube but Facebook and a lot of people they bring that energy towards me like they're just trying to be nosy and poke and probe because you know they heard through the grapevine you know Rosalind's related to such and such and such you know, so a lot of people are just coming back just to see if that was true, you know, and I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever, you know, I'm just going about my life. I sound still me. It's just there's part of me that you weren't aware of. There's a lot of things I didn't project out to the world like that, you know, because it was really hard for me to do at that time. So it was like an initial shock for a lot of people that has known me for years. So it, it's just like everything, you know, there's people that I had to walk away from. It was like family. You know, people that I've only known, it was like, you know, going through this situation with my, my mom's ex-husband, which is my adopted father. I just don't give him that, that title anymore. It's just a person of my past, my per person of a past of my past, you know, so I don't give him, I don't strip him of that name. I, I try not to give him any other names either, but, um, he, I no longer have him in my life. You know, they, they want to be in my life, but it's hidden agenda you know they want to make sure they they know every you know dot to the eye and every t that's been crossed but it's just like i felt like with my situation if you felt like you didn't do anything wrong you know you shouldn't be worried about what all my moves are you can just go ahead and be continue doing you you know i know how much heartache and pain they have and you know it wasn't connection reconnecting back with me because you wanted to rekindle a relationship or even heal that relationship no you had hidden motives so I mean you know I had to get closure off of that I had to physically be able to see them and let you know I'm a better person you don't have that power over me anymore but I'm glad that I went through these things because it gave me strength allowed me to see that I can walk away from nothing that serves me you know you don't have to you know get that encouragement to you know get that attention in your life like hey you need these people in your life and I don't you know because it never is not becoming anything you know they they've done a lot of damage to me you know even though I don't want to have to remind them of that because they knew what they've done they weren't sorry about anything they did you know but they just felt like you know the unwaking Rosalind probably would have ran back but the one that is a fully wide awake and know everything you did and why you did it no, I said thank you for the experience. I appreciate that. But, you know, I had to love you from a distance. Even it's like I can't even say I love them from a distance. I just, you know, I just know you from a distance. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love the experience that you put me through, the trauma, you know, because it allowed me to see the person I was becoming, the person they were scared I was going to become, you know, or people that have, you know, I bumped heads with in old prior relationships. You know, they'll come back. You know, there are certain times I don't even respond to them. You know, I can see a friend request from such and such. Nope. <laughs> I, won't, I don't even let it sit there for five minutes. I'll just go ahead and delete it. Or there's person, you know, it's just like no harm, no foul. You know, it's nothing against you. Don't take it personal. But, you know, if I took you out of my life or you took me out of your life, I'm going to allow that to happen. You know, there's people that have did things in your life and you have to be able to have that courage and that strength within yourself to walk away because some you know when you're going down the line of stuff a lot of people might not have your heart um you know that heart you know being authentic being genuine a lot of people connect with you to be able to take from you you know they'll rob you from your joy rob, rob you from your love and there's you know 
those things are supposed to happen so you can grow and learn from those tragic situations you know there's people that you learn from and I mean they taught me a lot and I really appreciate that but now I'm glad I just can I don't have to have no ill will towards them and I can just you know when I enter my life it takes me right back to that point and it's not there to you know allow me to re-endure you know endure that that whole painful situation but it was reminding me hey this is what they did you know you can still be cordial oh, thanks for getting in touch with me you know um and you you don't even have to mean anything bad towards them because you have to understand if things is like really messed up in your life and they really did some damage to you trust and believe they're probably already feeling it you know and they're going to know the reason why it happened you know you don't have to wish anything bad on nobody i try not to wish anything bad on anybody you know whether or not they said something bad about me or not because i always feel like if you're retaliating it makes you know better than the person that caused it you're you're on that same mentality and i'm trying to be that better person that i'm over that mentality you know, a lot of people try to be in your life because their life is miserable. So they want to see if your life is as miserable as theirs. You know, I'm on that. I'm on that. They knew me. Like, you know, I hope and pray things become bigger and better for you. But don't be worried about my journey. You need to be over there fixing yours. That was the problem. Everybody be worried about their own, you know, other people's journey except the ones they truly need to fix. And, you know, you're not going to accomplish anything trying to ruin somebody else's. So, you know, you have to understand you already know if it was, you know, if this is a relationship that was supposed to last, trust and believe it would have still been there. But a lot of times we have to go through these painful situations. You know, there's a lot of people that wants to be in your life, you know, when the sun is all bright and stuff like that. But when things get hard, you have to really understand who is really there for you. You know, a lot of times God places us in certain situations for us to see who has got our back and who's going to support it. There's a lot of people that you know there well let me not say a lot of people because i really don't cut myself off from a lot of folks but there has been some people that are there during that 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 cloudy time there when they seen everything wasn't good and they tried their best to sit up here and you know uplift me and i'm so grateful for those people but there's also people when they seen that things were getting better now you want to re-enter my life where were you at when all these other things was coming on you know you have to really think about it and look at stuff like that and people you know i remember trent Selton, shelton said that that you know if you all you had to offer was just for friendship how many people would you have and that is the truth you know some people be in your life to see what they can benefit off of you they're not trying to say hey i want to be this person's friend you know they seem pretty good or they'll see let me see what i can use and play against them you know i need this and this now i'm gonna see if i can do that you know and that's sad that people do that but that's the lesson of life you know not everybody has that same kind of heart or mentality you do but you have to be able to basically see are these people worth you coming back from especially if they you know it was part ways you did your situation they did theirs you know you don't have to be ill will you know you can tell okay i hope everything's good with you and you know much love to you and whatever you know you ain't got to be cruel you, you can remember what they did you know what i'm saying just so you know hey don't allow these people to come back in your life you know as soon as i said that my, my phone lit the heck up real quick you don't have to let them back in your life you can love these folks from a distance there's there's a few people that i walked away from and it broke my heart to walk away from but i knew that situation and our connection was not healthy for me you know, and it's just like, I, I can't continue to worry about you when you constantly putting yourself in certain situations. I can't do that. So I have to walk away. You know, if you're in abusive situations, I'm trying to allow you to learn from my, my mistakes and trying to help. There's family I had to walk away from that broke my heart because I didn't want to do that. But I knew, you know, hey, that ship has sailed. I got to get off. <laughs> now it's time for me to go on something else. But allow yourself to be able to heal from those situations. Allow you to be able to take the lesson and the blessing out of that connection. We we have different experiences that we have to be blessed on on every person we connect with because they're always teaching us something, whether it's something good or whether it's something bad. But while you're hearing healing yourself and elevating you know doing what you need to do get towards your blessings you have to understand when you start adding on to this next chapter and you don't you're not sure about where this chapter is taking you but it's taking you towards bigger and better things that are very unknown to you there's going to be some people that's going to come back in your life to try to either you want to self-sabotage yourself because you allow them back in there or they're going to try to do it themselves so you have to be very you know you gotta be tread very lightly on who you allow to come back in your life because if you know it didn't end well and you knew this situation didn't you know bring you any kind of growth you already know just allow that just to go you know wish them well and keep doing you
So I hope you are able to uh, resonate with the content of my video. You know, being on some good vibes and being able to push out some really, really good stuff from these experiences. You know, hopefully they'll be able to help you along the way as well. I'm gonna give my post notification shout out to Delinda Hay, um, Hay, Haynes. Much love to you and beat them back. Much love to you as well. You know, drop a line. Let me know if you resonate. Oh Lord, my my voice is going there. Let me know this is my last video. Um, let me know if you resonate. You know, share. Give me a thumbs up. You know, um, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Um, tell someone about the channel. You know, and see if they can be able to get something out of this as well. And it's greatly appreciated. Um, I'm glad that you are allowing yourself to be placed in my life. Is I'm glad I'm being able to be placed in yours. So much love to you. Uh, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I pray for y'all to make sure everything you're thriving hard and working hard for it, it comes and then blossoms into your life and send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way and i'll see you on my next video much love peace